it's Katie, and I have a random thought. Worst Christmas gifts ever. We have all received some pretty terrible gifts over the years. When you receive a gift that you hate as a kid, you pretty much say it right away. I hate this. I don't want this. Or I already have this. For me, I think some terrible gifts would have to be calendars, socks, getting video games for a console you don't even have, ugly Christmas sweaters. There are a ton of really random, not so great gifts. Let me tell you a little bit about the worst gift I've ever received. So I'm eight years old and so excited to go downstairs and see all of the gifts under the tree. I run down and I look and I see this box that is gigantic. It looked like a refrigerator box. It was that big. And then I see a ton of other presents under the tree. Of course, I run over and I look at the tag and it's for me. And I'm so, so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I probably got something so big and I'm so excited to open it. I want to do it now. Of course, my parents were like, no, no, you have to open it last. So I open up my other gifts. And I get some really awesome things. I think I got like a Razor scooter that year, some awesome Barbies, some Connects. You guys remember Connects? Those things were awesome. But opening those gifts didn't matter because I wanted to get to this huge box. So everyone had opened their presents. It's about time for me to open this gigantic box. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm eight years old and this box is bigger than me. So I go over and I start unwrapping the wrapping paper. I open up the box. There's another wrapped box inside. So I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Unwrap that box, open it. There's another box. I'm like, okay, my parents are pretty clever. I unwrap that, look inside and there's another box. And at this point, my eight year old self is like, mom and dad, like really you have to make this so difficult? I keep unwrapping and opening boxes, box after box after box after box after box until all I'm left with is a box this big. And guess what it is? A box of Tic Tacs. Yeah, I was pretty mad. I was so excited. I thought I was getting like a pony in that box, like maybe a Tonka truck. I thought it was going to be the biggest, coolest thing. And it was a box of Tic Tacs. And I don't think I have ever been so disappointed in a Christmas gift. Still haven't forgiven my parents for doing that to me. Man, that was mean. Well, I know everyone has probably received a really bad gift before. So I asked a couple of my friends what the worst Christmas gift they've ever received was. Hey, my name is Lamar Wilson and the worst gift I've ever received was a, a, a chill pet. Man, what the crazy? So, so, so you have this pet and you, and you put some slimy seeds on it and, and then it grows and you water it and, and then it just sits there. Well, What's the point of it? And the animals are like the ugliest animals I've ever seen. I mean, I, I don't even know why you want to get at somebody. You're supposed to get that to your worst enemy, so I guess the person didn't like me. So all I have to say is, thank you, Mom, for th that present. That's why we're best friends now. Hey, I'm Tracy King, and I'm going to tell you about the worst Christmas gift I've ever received. So a couple years back, I was in the military. We decided we were going to do Secret Santa. So the rules were, you had to buy a gift, $20 or lower. It had to be for a guy and a girl. I bought a package of jam and I was really excited because I thought, oh my God, what am I gonna get in return? And I got a box of garlic <laughs> and, a, and a Pez dispenser. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black bear with a random thought. <laughs> Worst Christmas present ever. Okay, so I was a real big fan of He-Man and Masters of the Universe, so all I wanted was a Castle Grayskull and a He-Man action figure. My parents got me Castle Grayskull, good job parents, but they also got me Prince Adam action figure. Not He-Man action figure, but actually Prince Adam in his regular Prince Adam clothes before he actually turned into He-Man. The reason why they got me that was apparently Prince Adam was on sale. He was cost less than He-Man. So they were like, we're gonna get you Prince Adam for the He-Man. I was like, really? So how am I supposed to have him be He-Man? They suggested that I just take the shirt off of him and then all of a sudden, boom, he's He-Man. Then they try to accuse me later of being gay. And it's like, well, you gave me an action figure and told me to take the dude's shirt off. It's your fault, mom and dad. I like chicks. So the worst Christmas gift I ever received, and I should preface this by letting you know that I'm a Jets fan, I got a Giants jersey for Christmas one year, and I was like a kid, I was maybe like 10 years old, and I did not hide the fact that I was completely disgusted. I mean, when you're a 10 year old and you get the jersey of the team that you hate, that is one of the most horrifying things that could possibly happen to you. And I was horrified. I think I went like this, I hate the Giants! So if you want to get me a Christmas gift? 
Get me a Jets jersey. Those are some pretty bad gifts. Don't do that to your friends and family, guys. But I wanna hear from you. What is the worst Christmas gift you've ever received? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I wanna thank my friends for helping me make this video and telling me their least favorite Christmas gifts. You can check out all of their channels below. Go like and subscribe to them because I said so. You can find me on Twitter and Facebook, and you can also check out my previous video over here. And always don't forget to like and subscribe. And happy holidays. I'm in a forest, kinda. It's a backyard, but it looks kinda like a forest. I will find a forest anywhere. I'm so weird.